Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwig Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Joy from CCT Joyce Block. I like this tangle on for a number of reasons. Um, one is it just looks really cool when you're done. <laughs> and it's pretty easy to do. All right, this one, you know, I think I'm going to start off diagonal. So this one, it's almost like drawing uh, a candy cane. We're going to start with a straight line and end it up in, with a little curve at the end. One thing you want to do is um, it's not completely in the center. I sometimes like to imagine a uh, that I have an orb here. But we'll just, we're just going to get started. And like so. Okay? Straight line ending into a curve. Then flip your, your tile or your paper. 180 degrees and leaving some separation here and th that amount of separation is completely up to you and we're going to do the same thing on the other side then we're going to add two more in here now I don't know that it matters how many that you have I think I, I drew one uh, with eight because personally I, I like drawing um making it easy so it's kind of like I have an X and then I can you know X the X right cross the X uh, or cross the cross I forget what I say um, but this but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with what she has on the on the pattern so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna add two more so I'm kind of picturing a V here because sometimes it's good to just stretch and do things that aren't always comfortable and we are leaving a gap in here it doesn't necessarily have to be that wide and we can probably fix that you know uh, make it a little longer at the end but um, all right so I will say as I was saying a V okay so and then the same idea with the curve line and then this one and then going on the other side doing the same idea you can if you know, it just depends you can maybe you know come looking at this end and use that as a guide but ultimately does it matter no <laughs> all right next step is we're going to add some rounding so that is if you don't know we're just going to thicken that you know uh, that little curve and fill it in and this is where if you needed to, you could probably do some course corrections. So like if one was maybe too short or something, you could do, do the rounding on the other end. And I'm being trying to be careful. And I don't like the, the bumps that it does. So sometimes like I re redid this, but now I'm like, well, great. Now all the other ones I need to probably adjust but we'll see and doing this to all of them I like it coming down to a point like that oh one more <laughs> And I'm thinking, you know, I don't know, This it looks neat on, on any scale. Um, but yeah, I did something about adding that rounding. It's one thing to, to have the little curve, but to add that rounding is just neat. And I'm, I'm going to, we're, we're going to go off on a little dare here. And I'm daring myself to uh, put these in a little further. Again, the trick is to do it so that way... I'm not adding adding a bump. There we go. Maybe this one a little bit more. But it, it kind of creates a bit of a orb without having one there. And uh, I just I think I think it looks really really neat. And being that we're you know it's December we're in holiday season I think it really lends itself to to festive tangling especially if you wanted to do it with colors or you know add some things in. I'm trying to think what you would add in. There's probably tons of things that one could add in. And I'm just going to try something. I've not done shading on this, but I saw something on um, 
that made me think, huh, I wonder if we could. So I'm just going up on this curve and then down a little bit on that stem. And in the description box while I'm doing this, um, there will be links to the step outs. And sometimes just adding a little something extra like this. We'll just see if I... Oh, look at that. looks neat. And you could also play with the size, you know, of this this curved part here. Maybe you want it to come, you know, actually for this size, I should probably maybe have it coming down a little bit more. Although I do kind of like that. It, it's, um, even without the shading, it adds, it's just, I don't know, it's just neat. It's just neat looking. But with, with this, kind of adds... Oh, yeah, add some extra dimension. And like I said, I think you could, if you wanted to add more spokes, you probably could. Um, but uh, that's that's up to you. And, and yeah, it's just, a, like I said, it's a neat tangle. I've been calling them, like, freestanding, um, you know, or an accent tangle. It's something that, you know, you can, you know, add to your tangling, um, you know, however you want. It's not necessarily like a fill-in where you have a section and you fill it in and it's solid. That's, I guess, what I'm thinking as, as a fill-in. Although you could put this in any section, do different sizes. It's just it's something that could certainly we can have a lot of fun with. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, would love to have a, you know, a thumbs up or a like. Uh, feel free to share it. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, would love to have you as a subscriber to the channel. And... Um, Oh, also in the description section under the step outs are ways to connect with me if you'd like to. I do both paid and free classes and all that information is on my website or feel free to, to contact me. We also um, have a pretty active Facebook group and I'm getting more active on um, on Pinterest. Uh, I've been using, I said, links are on, or actually if you go to the YouTube channel, to the, to the homepage of the YouTube channel, my links are there. They're also on my website. Um, I've been using the hashtag Tangle Addicts, so if you hashtag Tangle Addicts then you, on Pinterest, or really anywhere, um, then we can, we can all find each other. So, um, so feel free to use that. And then I also have been hashtagging the, uh, the Tangle name as well as Zentangle. So anyway, with that, thanks again so much for watching, and I wish you happy tangling.